Today we're out here replacing the trash screens here at Wilson Lock. I'm with, working with the maintenance support team, district dive team, and members out here at Wilson Lock. The goal of the maintenance support team is to support all of the, the 14 different locks that we have within the district. So it requires an extreme amount of coordination both with the lock staff and mechanics, in this case USACE dive team, as well as uh, operations managers both on the Tennessee River and the Cumberland River. The trash screens are an important component here at Wilson Lock. They keep trash and debris from going into the culvert and damaging the uh, valves. We're going to remove these trash screens with the support of the dive team. First off, we started out today, we assess the screens, check out for debris and remove some debris to allow the trash screens to travel up the guide rail. We're working with the maintenance support team. So they have a 100 ton mobile crane on the barge. It allows the divers to go down and rig. We're working in depths of 67 foot to the bottom of the elevation of the screens. The way we get these screens out of the water, we send divers down, we assess the components, the lifting eyes on the existing screens, they rig shackles, hook it onto the block of the 100 ton crane that's on the barge, and we assess and raise it up slowly and safely. These screens are all original uh, as part of the original construction of Wilson Lock here. They've been underwater for excess of five decades, and uh, they haven't seen the light of day probably in 50 years or so. You know, diving is a, it's a very hazardous duty that some of the Nashville District dive team members have. We go through extensive training on our equipment, perform uh, routine maintenance, and visually inspect our equipment daily and before every dive. Biggest part to diving on a lock, you have to check out clearance procedures, you have to look for intakes, anything that might be a hazard. You know, here we're working in excess of 60 foot dive depths on a 70 foot dive table. Your body builds up residual nitrogen when you're working at depth, so we want to ensure diver safety all the time. And uh, it's one thing we mitigate risk by pre-dive planning, equipment maintenance, and equipment inspections, and everybody looks out for each other. We want to ensure that divers go home the same way they showed up to work that day. You know, every dive team member has a valuable job on the dive site. You have your dive supervisor. They ensure proper communication between the crane operator and the diver. Tenders ensure the lifeline, which is an umbilical that supplies emergency air, communications to the diver to the top side, ensure everything's working properly. They dress the diver out to ensure all the pre-dive equipment checks are completed safely. Crane operators, they have a valuable role, ensuring proper communication with the dive supervisor through the diver, ensure no crane movements are made without the diver communication back to top side. So everyone plays a critical role to ensure safety for every team member because we look out for each other, make sure everybody goes home at the end of the day safely. Right here, you're looking at the dive supervisor communicating with the diver that's approximately 40 foot down. He's looking at the trash screen to assess the condition before we rig it to pull it up. These existing screens weigh approximately 18,000 pounds. We're really excited because we've been waiting a while to replace these. Coordinating the maintenance that's ongoing and necessary for these locks for the navigation industry, it's, it can be very challenging in that a lot of the locks are older and they weren't originally designed for ongoing maintenance. So we have to come up with creative engineering solutions to be able to continue to keep these locks open for the navigation industry. You know, this is one of the most dangerous jobs that you can do with the Corps. All of the divers in the Nashville district, it's all a additional duty. And they do it as a voluntary assignment. They receive training and uh, they go out and perform work that others wouldn't dream about doing or would be scared to death to do. Um, they don't take the job lightly, they do it seriously, and they do a great job. You know, an accident can happen to anyone out here, even the most experienced divers. It's important that we not get complacent when performing dive operations and uh, control our emotions when we're underwater. Um, just one small mess up can lead to a fatality, so we want to ensure diver safety completely every time that we're performing dive operations. I just want to say a thank you to the staff here at Wilson Lock and Dam, the maintenance support team, and the Nashville District Dive Team for allowing projects like this to be completed safely.